Champs Elysees. Oh my God! Woo! These guys are crazy. There it is. Arc de Triomphe, riding around the roundabout. Hi, I'm Lavi, and this is Ollie. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 11. 11! <laughs> On our around the world trip. And we've spent the last couple of days in this little room laying low, doing some editing, but it is time today to hit the road again. Bumblebee has been resting down there where we can keep an eye on her, covered by the Oxford rain cover, doing great. But today we are gonna be taking on the streets of Paris. So let me show you where we're gonna go. So, so far we have managed to make our way across the ferry to Calais, up to Dunkirk, where we then went down through the heart of the French countryside, ending up in Compiègne, where we spent the last couple of days. Today, we are gonna be taking the road south towards Paris, taking on the streets of Paris. We're gonna head in from the northeast, straight through the center, coming out the southwest, where we're gonna be spending the night camping back in the French countryside. So it's gonna be a day of massive contrasts from the countryside to the city to the countryside again. It's gonna be a crazy day, so let's go. Good morning. Yeah, good morning from the road. <laughs> the sun is shining and we are heading into Paris. 41 miles to go into Paris and we're already into this beautiful forested countryside. And it's a great day for riding after a couple of days off. I was so looking forward to getting back on the bike and getting going. <laughs> hey! <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting in to the outskirts of Paris. I don't know if you guys can see, but up there in the distance, we can start to see the sprawl of the metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> the buildings coming up on the horizon. We can see that the road is starting to get busier. Yeah, you have a lot of trucks coming. Oh yeah. This is the start of the chaos. <laughs> the chaos of Paris. I heard a lot of bad things about Paris, about the traffic and stuff. So you know what? The only thing to do is for us to go right into the heart of Paris, take it head on and see how it is for real. Just stopping for a quick little coffee break before we head into the center. Okay, we're under five miles now from the center of Paris. We have rooted ourselves actually to the Arc de Triomphe, to that roundabout right in the middle. And, uh, and then we want to drive the Champs-Elysees and we want to go to the Eiffel Tower, all in a big whirlwind motorcycle tour. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you can see here quite good, like the traffic is going crazy cars coming from the right and from the left <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we're fine we're navigating we're getting in yes and uh, everything seems to be flowing reasonably well i expected worse yeah so. Very cool. Yeah, look at that. A cafe in Paris. <laughs> and look at this beautiful tree-lined avenue with these giant buildings. This is exactly what I expected. 
from the streets of Paris. Look at this, wow. We've got just over a mile until the Arc de Triomphe. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the architecture here around. <laughs> yeah, it's really charming here. It's really charming. Very charming. Oh, this is the peripherique. And now we're coming into the very, very center. Here we go. Whee! And you know what road we're heading down now? Oh, Champs Elysees. <laughs> oh, Champs Elysees. I just wanted to come down that road so that I could sing, sing this song. <laughs> nice, look at this. So here it is, the quintessential site of Paris. The Arc de Triomphe started building in 1806 and uh, it wasn't completed until the 1830s. It was commissioned by Napoleon and uh, it was inspired by, I think it's called the Titus Arch in Rome. And look at it, it's crazy. That's a beautiful arch. <laughs> a huge, beautiful arch. That is one hell of a doorway. <laughs> it's 50 meters high. And that is all the information I have for you today <laughs> about the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> for more information, please look up Wikipedia. <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! These guys are crazy! There it is! Arc de Triomphe riding around the roundabout! <laughs> nice! Amazing! Look at that! And I've never been to Paris before! And now here we are, riding through the very center, going around the roundabout. Now I just need to find the right exit because there are so many exits here. I think it is not this one. Uh, this one. Yep. That's it. Wow, wasn't that a crazy roundabout, hey? Oh my god. And now after our whirlwind tour of the Arc de Triomphe, we are heading to France's most famous landmark. Yep, you guessed it. We've now routed to the Eiffel Tower. And it's only about a mile away from the Arc de Triomphe, so we are going to roll on through to the Tour Eiffel. Look, there's the Eiffel Tower. Woo! Whoa! That was sprung up on me. Oh my god. And well, I'm gonna. Oh my god, these these scooters. These scooters are crazy. Honestly, we have to be more careful of the scooters than we do of the cars. It's true, and he is just going, and he is co going as well. Everyone is just going for it, eh? Here we go. Look at that. Wow, this is my first time seeing it in person. <laughs> That's incredible. There it is, the Eiffel Tower. 300 meters tall. Oh look, we can drive all the way down here. Oh my God, that is crazy. Oh, oh he is like... This truck man, he's just doing whatever he wants. He is doing whatever he wants, look oh at that. Oh my God, look at this. This is crazy. Wow, nice, look at that. Beautiful! Oh my god. <laughs> now, I can't remember when this was built, but it's built out of steel. It must absolutely weigh a ton. It was actually the tallest building from when it was built. I think it was 1890, 1889. 
and it was the tallest building until 1930 when I think it was beaten by New York but uh, there's a lot of traffic I think we're gonna have to end our whirlwind tour of central Paris <laughs> and I think we're gonna have to start making our way out because <laughs> we, we can't really stop anyway here and the traffic is crazy <laughs> <laughs> coming back onto the periphery and uh, also this is now the official start of the Paris Dakar leg of our trip so that was kind of one of the reasons why we sort of came into the center of Paris other than the fact I've never been to Paris so I really wanted to see it yeah but, and Bumblebee wanted to see it as well so <laughs> yeah Bumblebee had never been to Paris I had never been to Paris so in homage to the Paris Dakar we're starting here in Paris and we are on our way now to Dakar <laughs> Dakar we are coming <laughs> so I've actually been on the periphery of Paris where we are now once before but it was actually by accident I uh, was heading to a friend's place in Tours in the center of France. I took a wrong turn out of Calais and I thought oh yeah it'll probably be okay I'll just carry on I'll just carry on and um, yeah I ended up here in Paris <laughs> and I had to go around the periphery and then take one of the exits off and go down to Tours so that's as close as I ever got to the center of Paris by accident. So now we're heading back out Goodbye Paris! Goodbye Paris! <laughs> it's been really really brief but it was really nice to see these uh, amazing famous monuments and Yeah absolutely it was really really moving actually <laughs> it, was, it was absolutely crazy <laughs> Yeah that's quite a tour Oh man that's quite a tour I don't think many people would be like oh let's drive into the very center of Paris but I'm glad we did Oh, I'm missing the countryside already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're heading back out now. Yeah. We will be in the countryside in no time. Yeah. We are back in the countryside away from the city we have now traveled today 115 miles and we have 17 miles to go until our stop for the night and we're back in the beautiful beautiful open fields and the tree lined countryside roads just to the southwest of Paris but yeah, tonight uh, we have found a campsite which we found on Park for Night and uh, this campsite is basically pay what you want. Yeah, you pretty much just rock up there. It's like uh, uh, some farmers who have like a field with a couple of basic facilities and yeah, you just pay as much as you feel when, you, when you're there. But it should be a pretty cheap night after spending the last couple of days in in a hotel which wasn't an expensive hotel but for our budget which is a tiny budget <laughs> anything that's not camping is pretty much over budget <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're just coming up to our campsite for the night and it's in a beautiful rural countryside setting with just fields, 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 fields all around in the very small little hamlet of Secure. So we just have to look out for the camping sign. <laughs> nice. nice. Wow. I think ah, he's there. Okay. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Oh, this beautiful little area. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Should we just go just, here? Just here, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Look at how peaceful this place is. 
just just listen to that wow you can just hear the birds and the river oh no we have some sheep over there a donkey and yeah the owner tells us the donkey is 40 years old we can actually pitch the tent right next to Bumblebee tonight. We can sleep right next to Bumblebee. Yes! Oh. <laughs> so we're just having a picnic at the moment with some pastries and some cheese and <laughs> obviously. just... Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Um, Forget. Of course. <laughs> and the croissants. <laughs> of course. Ollie has been driving the whole day. <laughs> Look how dead he is. <laughs> so I will set up the tent now for us, make everything nice and cozy. How many minutes was that? <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> Good evening. We have put Bumblebee to bed. <laughs> Snuggled up, cozy and... Nice and close where we can keep an eye on her. <laughs> yes, we managed to drive 148 miles today, which considering we went right through the center of Paris, I think that is pretty good going. It wasn't too hectic in the city center, actually. No, no, not as bad as we were expecting. Yeah, no. exactly. I mean, for me, it was quite scary when we drove through the roundabout. Oh my God. Yeah, that God. roundabout with no lanes, just traffic going absolutely everywhere. It was pretty insane, but, uh, you know, I was just, I was just like getting in there and I was just kind of like, you know, whoa, 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 avoiding everything and it was fine in the end. It was fine at the end, but I think as a pillion, it's like you don't have anything under control, you know, you're just looking right and left and you're seeing uh, scooters coming, uh, cars coming and you're like, oh my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, everyone avoided everyone yes. and we can all go home happy. Yes, yes. So that's it for today from us. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us a comment and a like and all of these things below. Thumb and a thumbs up. <laughs> exactly. We will see you next time.